then always helping for you. And once Durga appeared by efforts many, many, many millions of years ahead, that format is still helping us. Right? So if anything like this temple or any temple or my Bagla Pit is being made, it goes on helping the coming generations for years and years. So what should be our duty to help such things? Now coming to the third section, that is Mahalakshmi section. In that I will tell you only brief things. Summani Sumar again two demons. Deity appearing Durga in a very beautiful format. All looking at her, being totally charmed by her beauty. Then they go and tell that king, king, a very beautiful lady. No one is more beautiful than that. Please get married. Then he sends message, but she denies. And what she says? See, I will get to marry to that person who can win me in war. Right? So I want battle. So they say, being a lady, you want battle? She said, it's my choice. I love battle. You come, get me defeated, take me as a wife. And the battle starts. Right? In that battle, only two or three things I'm explaining to condense it. The first thing is there appears one demon. His name is Raktbij. What is his name? Rakt means blood. Bij means seed. When the blood is working as a seed, and the blood of a demon working the seed for a demon, that demon was blessed by the deities that if any drop from your body will fall on the earth, a one deity will appear, oh sorry, one demon will appear of your equal strength, exactly like you. So many drops going down then, many activities appearing on the scene, immediate quick, 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 quick. And they we couldn't imagine that. In that war, what actually happens, the demons come with a lot this military, large number of military. And then the mother sits properly and lot of energy formats feminine, Devya, Saktiya, Kali, Durga, Chandi, Chamunda, Varahi, Vaisnavi, Narsimi, Komari, like that. All coming from her body, from the main deity, right? And as much as army he has, equivalent energies appear from her body. Energies means females here, right? And the war goes on. But the, the head was at that moment is Raktabij. So all the deities, major eight deities are there. In the Yantras, in every puja, there are eight Mahabharvi, eight Mahabharo, right? Hendri, Chamundi, Varai, like that. Mahalakshmi, I'm not going in detail. So all these eight, they kill, they try to kill that Raktabij. This Maheshwari hitting with Trisul. Vaisnavi hitting with chakra, somebody hitting with chakra, somebody with something else. And whenever anybody is hitting, blood is coming. And the blood is coming then. So how much to kill? <laughs> they got surprised. Then the mother calls Kali. Kali come. Kali says, what's problem? She says, Kali tum badnam vistrinam kuru. You expand your mouth. What to do? So that if any blood comes out, the blood should not go on the ground. And then they all start hitting together, and Kali is taking all the blood. After some time, all the blood was finished, nothing could take birth again, and he was finished. He was Raktabij. Now, what literally or really, in essence, this Raktabij means? If you are a human being, only out of blood we will give birth to some child, Right? Any bad thing, some seed must be somewhere. And nowadays on the earth, lot of Raktabija are there. So how to finish those? In that case, we need the aggressive form or Ugratam form or Rodra form of Kali or the destructive forces of Divine Mother. People say, why to pray this? Only pray Lakshmi. Lakshmi is very helpless. She, she cannot do anything. A demon coming, taking hands, she has to go. Divine comes, taking hands, she has to go. She will not fight. She just decorated beautiful piece, diamond, this, this, this. Who will protect her? To protect your country, to protect your dignity, to protect your family, 
everywhere what you really need aggressiveness so that is kali or whatever you say so after the rakti bij was killed then finally further more demons are being killed at the last all his army was finished only two brothers were left some men this so then they come to the mother then they why you are boasting you durga you are very strong warrior we are only two brothers now you are with so big army come at equal level she says hey, look there is nobody else other than me in this universe mere except kuch nahi there is nothing other than me look and she draws all the forms inside her right she stands alone and then says she look no one is there they say no now be ready see finishes both so this chapter was maha saraswati first was mahakali second with maikasur mahalakshmi this with simunisu narakti bij is maha saraswati and ultimately after doing all these things then we come across whenever one demonic force is being killed one prayer is there always to the mother in different format by different saint rishis different it is ultimately i tell you the last essence of chapter today i had explained something in some parts of is there with our prayer room when we read durga sapsati path mahatmyam means the values or importance of recitation of durga then we know but i tell you here only one or two things the mother is saying from her own voice right sarva badha vinirmukto say with me sarva badha vinirmukto dhana dhanya sutanvitah manushyo mat prasadena bhavishyati na sansya it means i will remove all obstacles dhan dhanya dhan means money prosperity dhan means eatables everything sutanvita families i will protect all the condition is manushyo mat prasadena if i am pleased prasad means to be pleased prasad doesn't mean only tirtham it's also a form of prasad but the real prasad means if she is pleased and she blesses then she says if i am pleased na sansya no doubt at all and again she is saying one line if i am pleased with somebody so whenever these demonic problems will arise in your life i will appear again and again in different forms right and go on finishing them see these two things are guaranteed in durga sapshati with divine mother's blessing why we should worry still we should worry or not worry nobody is saying because you are habituated with worries a person is smoking you tell him hey, stop i can't stop guru ji you know this is inbuilt this weeping habits fear factor you have made inbuilt it's not built by god so try to remember these two lines sarva bada vinir mukto sometimes stand in your house and stand and shout loudly sarva bada vinir mukto people will think is mad let them think whatever you are but all energy will explode in your body now coming to final statement of chandi what chandi is what i have saw chandi what i have seen chandi in my ashram we are doing lak chandi what we are doing lak chandi means one leg times recitation of the book of surga sapshati if 40000 priests come at one day at one place then it can be completed with four parts per day four recitations along with homam 40000 priests are needed in one day very big volume tomorrow here you are all going to do chandi homam look the big volume right volume is big because to make a deity like durga to appear volume is always big it's not a small one so in that case when i was given instruction from my guru swam siddhasram and you know i come from siddhasram and siddhasram is the highest place on the earth in terms of divinity spirituality there is nothing higher than siddhasram then mother told me you are a guru you should know everything about me and before knowing me you should know everything about maikasur i had to invoke even maikasur to talk to him 
but today there is no time because in nature things are not happening so easily maika sura ravan or anybody they are also great personalities in any puja with maika sura mardani you have to invoke you have to install that maika sura also with that it shows the importance so there she told look i am chandi i am chamunda i am kali i am durga i am kamakya i am shakti i am prasakti i am vidya i am mahavidya i am avidya all i am when all i am i can do anything for anybody but when i appear on the scene then nothing remains and she gave me two examples in ramayan yuddh in ramayan it was only few days battle mahabharat few days only and not much weapons were being used but it with durga saptahi character in finite weapons have been used and so long battle right so this durga saptahi or chandi you do in any form either home or chanting or any system it's always most powerful thing in our hands there is nothing higher than chandi part chandi astuti chandi home available with us this is highest weapon and once you take that complete energetic sword of that deity with in your hands there can be no problem in your life and if anybody meets you even his or her problems will be solved so this is blessing by her sarvabada individually she has blessed me also and i am again blessing on behalf of all the deities on behalf of myself on behalf of my gurus chandi is something very 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 high there is nothing higher than chandi there is only one thing higher than chandi even that is guru because na guru radikam na guru radikam na guru radikam only gurus can take control of that you know we read kavach argala kilakam kilak means to regulate that force because even if the chandi appears it's very difficult to control her she can finish anything you know when narsim bhagwan appeared he was not being pacified then she was to take different form he came as a sala avatar he became like a bird and he picked up your narsim ma to make him pacify to regulate him in the same format energy is always needs regulators so durga or chandi is definitely no doubt very high energy level it needs regulators and regulators are only always gurus so this is alpha today i really bless everybody enjoy with chandi enjoy with shakti in all forms and para shakti means combined format of all energies all coming from her all merging in her and we are her child or we are children so we are always full of her all her rights are our rights if we go wrong immediately we will be finished by her it's all for today if any doubt or any question you want to ask you can ask any question for anybody and one thing i will tell you during chandi i have come across many persons they do one mistake while chanting navan mantra lot of people chant om am hrim klim chamunda viche that is not the proper mantra there is no om with chandi the proper mantra is ang ring kling cha munda ye vichi not vichai ang ring kling cha munda ye vichi the pronunciation should be very clear because when i was in california they were all chanting there was one cd from one guru i will not say anybody's name the ch- chanting of navan mantra was there the prakash pradhan put that cd i said what is cd you have from me but wrong cd he is very big guru mane ka what big guru doesn't know in the proper mantra then there was followers also i didn't know lot of followers are there <laughs> because i had to kept mom at that time if i was aware hey no no how you can say this wrong then i called three books how this is mentioned by lord shiva in this mantra there is no om at all everywhere there is no om in kali mantra krim krim kali krim swa there is no om kal var krom krom swa there is no om in alta tipusandir mantra rim ka eil there is no om om everywhere om is not essential it's not added so don't try to go with wrong mantras in books there are misprints right because today the talk was on chandi and it is navan mantra navan mantra the mantra with nine letters only when you put om it become 10 letters 
राइट सो द रियल मंत्र नमान मंत्र इज एंग रिंग क्लिंग चा मुंडा ये विचे द प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज टू टाइप्स वन इज एम हिरिंग क्लिंग अदर इज एंग हिरिंग क्लिंग बोथ इज ओके राइट ऑल फॉर टुडे आई ब्लेस एवरीबॉडी especially these committee members here and kumar and i really love everyone pomila and all be happy enjoy ya yeah. ji can you please uh, tell about the parties people generally talk about shakti shakti chanda nobody generally takes out the name parvati much why is that so is she a karma aspect of devi or yeah all right while reading this durga sapshati there comes in second chapter third chapter also parvati right mm-hmm. parvati was the lady who was walking to go to take bath and then of course we cannot tell all things in one sitting and then some next force comes out of the parvati right and that tells parvati that why these deities are praying you they are in trouble they are praying you so actually all energies are from parvati only if somebody tell or don't tell because parvati name is very popular as a housewife right with shiva with ganesh ganesh has mother shiva has wife but all comes through parvati and in durga chanting whenever we come a cast of 108 names and other names parvati is always the head one everything comes only from parvati right so don't get confused if because chandi is something aggressive the way lakshmi and the kali are not different only one deity working different purpose suppose only one electricity is there in the kitchen there in the fan there in the ac somewhere you are getting cool effect somewhere you are getting hot effect energy is energy but purpose is different in the same way parvati when performing different functions she appears like kali like saraswati like durga so parvati is head of department no doubt about it right and she para shakti and your shakti these are the two main shaktis working your shakti is called swa shakti para shakti is called divine shakti when both shaktis combine together only then something really materializes otherwise nothing materializes all clear anybody else so we should conclude now okay kumar thank you again lot of blessing to everybody i took 15 minutes <laughs> no no you can take any amount of time guru ji is like a university professor coming down to kindergarten and explaining to all those things he said something all of them very profound truths i can appreciate it because he is a realized soul and he does communicate with baglamukhi he has given life to that mantra i know that but the way he is explaining to you is like a cartoonish way he explains to you because it's easier to get through to you but trust me he knows much much profound deeper but his time is constrained and the audience level of evolution so he just brings it down in a, like a cartoonish way but is very very profound truths he has said and i don't want to go into it again you probably understood what you are saying very profound aspect of durga saptasati he made it very simple uh, almost like a story easily understandable like a i use the word cartoonish but he is really a realized soul and he has told me very profound truths because the way we understand it's the way you perceive it i perceived it because i know he not only knows he has realized he has the blessing he has the grace of baglamukhi and he has given life to that mantra i know that but none of you will know that because you really have to relate to that so but very profound truths he has discussed with you in a very simple understandable uh, almost comical way but that's a very that's the sign of a guru he does not talk in his level because he knows most devotees won't understand so he comes down to kindergarten level and talks to you uh, that is a sign of a guru who makes you understand talk with durga sapdasati is very complex very deep but he made it but touched on all the aspect of it in a very s- simple way a profound truth he made it very simple that is a sign of a real guru thank you so much we appreciate it i would like to tell you one thing today in the morning i got three calls from my followers 
when all of them talked on the same topic that guruji we are worried about 2012 i couldn't understand what is 2012 because in india we say we will say 2012 right so immediately i couldn't pick up what is 2012 and he asked what is it 2012 oh guruji this year oh i said 2012 all <laughs> right so what is problem with this no guruji we are reading this 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 lot of things are going to happen i said see don't worry of course things are not going to be better because we have done lot of sins on the earth earth is full of sinners now at this moment complete earth so definitely we have to wait and watch something naturally the nature will go some punishment but don't worry because when you read this durga sapshati mother says any type of problems dehik devik bhautik atrivid tap samnam so no doubt here is not good but nothing to worry if it is like you are here they can stop the complete world from destruction why to worry so never worry remember my words nothing is impossible for a perfect devotee and we are all perfect devotees that's all don't worry much smile much